Hello, this is the DIY Magician, here with another quick and easy fun thing to do for your next barbecue or family gathering. That's right, here it is, ketchup and mustard squirt bottles. Hang tight and I'll tell you how it's done. So here's what you need to make your own ketchup and mustard squirt bottles. This is a fun prank and it's easy to do. In fact, all you have to do is go down to your local uh, Walmart and, and that's where I got these. Uh, it's a Walmart brand uh, Ketchman mustard bottle. It's, it's joined together as a package, and I think it's anywhere from two to three dollars, depending on where you're at in the country. In addition to that, you're going to need uh, some red yarn and some yellow yarn. Now, of course, you want to use the red with the red and the yellow with the yellow. Now, the bottles themselves are easy to work with because the nozzle is actually the the correct diameter for your uh, your yarn to be used. In the past, I had to trim them down with this pair of scissors. Don't have to do that anymore. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut a piece of, uh, of yarn off the spool um, about two feet long, maybe a little longer depending on um, what your reach is and, and such. And it's very easy. All you do is, is uh, feed one end through the bottom of the nozzle out to the tip. You're going to take uh, and tie the end off. You're going to tie it knot twice. So you tie a knot and then you over tie that knot so it makes it a little bit larger than a normal knot. That way when you're using the, uh, the string it doesn't go through the tip just kind of sitting there on its own. Now the other end you have to build up a little bit more so you're going to probably tie maybe uh, three or four knots in that one and make it really big and, and that way it won't go through the bottom of the nozzle. Now you want to also leave a little bit of end on this, the part that goes in the bottle, and on the tip, you want to cut it as close as you can without getting it to where it'll untie itself. And then when you're, when you're done with that, you just kind of push, push it down a little bit like that, and it'll actually flatten out the, uh, the end. So all you do now is you pull the string back down through the nozzle so the knot is at the tip. You lower the remaining uh, string into the canister, just like this. And sometimes it works easier than others. So basically you feed it inside the canister like so. All right. And you re replace the cap just like that. Now it is ready to go, but of course you'll notice that the nozzle squirts out like that, but you have this little, little uh, tassel here. Now you can either just clip it onto the side like that, or you can trim it off uh, either the, the post and the extra little bit or I left it on because then you can just kind of hide the knot when it's just sitting there on the table. People won't examine it too carefully. Now that's pretty much it. It's a basic ketchup and mustard squirt bottle. Again, you don't need to have them both on the table at the same time. You don't need to use them at all the family gatherings because of course you want to vary your, your audience. But when you're done, you'll have something great for the kids to prank their favorite uncle or aunt or family member. That is the ketchup and mustard squirt bottle. Now, if you want a fancier version, hang on a second and I'll show you the pro version of this. And now that you've done the basic model, I want to show you the pro model. This is the advanced. The basic model is nice because you can, you can give it to a child and they can use it. It's uh, just basic. It, uh, it uh, does that. You unscrew the cap and you pull it manually out by hand like this, okay? That's okay, that's okay. But I, I came up with this idea a while back where I actually removed the uh, little clip at the side there. Now, you can squirt it just like normal. You squirt it out like this, but here's the best part. Watch this, it's a speed load. You pull it all the way out. You lower it right back in the canister like this, just like that. No fuss, no muss, and you're ready to go again. Now, how does this work? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. What you do is, the basic uh, part is the front part. That's the easy part. That, that's what we did earlier. Now, the advanced part is right here. At the very bottom of the canister, there's a little bump that they use for the molding process. I don't know what they use it for, but it's there. What you do is you take a small screwdriver, now, or not, I'm sorry, a small drill bit. Now, I have a screwdriver bit on the end. This is uh, one that you get in those basic kits where it has the screwdriver bit and a uh, drill a bit on that part there. What you do is you find that little bump at the bottom and 
you put this on the bottom plastic and you spin it a couple times like this, just like you'd be using a regular drill. Doesn't take much effort. It's very easy to do. Once you go all the way through with the drill bit, hold it steady and move it in a couple times back and forth and that'll get off some of those extra burrs, okay? Now the next step is easy. You take some fishing line and you need to get the heavy uh, fishing line. This is 50 pound test. Uh, you need the really strong stuff. You probably have some at home already or you might have a neighbor or friend that'll give you a little piece because that's all you need. You need about about, uh, about two feet of it, just uh, about you know 24 inches and you fold it in half and you get a good sharp point on it and you push it through the little hole. Now it's going to take a bit of fishing to get it in there but uh, it'll make it through. And when you're ready on the inside you push it through a little bit so there's a little loop on the inside kind of like threading a needle. You drop the uh, yarn into that little spot inside and you pull carefully like this and then watch what happens. It'll pull right through the bottom. You're actually pulling just the end of the yarn through the bottom, okay? Then you're going to take your, uh, your yarn, you're going to knot it just like you would before, just a couple of basic knots. Because that hole is so small, you want to get a, a good small uh, drill bit. I think it's, this might be 1 16th drill bit. It's, it's a really tiny one. You want to make sure that the, the, uh, the hole is just big enough to get that fishing line and the yarn through. And then you make that double knot just like you do on the on the uh, nozzle end and you clip off the end just as close as you can without making that knot unravel just like that and then you pull through like this and then it'll end up being flush you can actually set this on the counter and it won't wobble after a while it'll actually sink right in and then of course you cut the length that you want trim it off and then put it through the nozzle just like you did before so you have that knot there the only difference is you're going to have uh, various uh, people using this item. So on mine, I like a really long string. Uh, I have the, uh, the length of my arms. I can do something with that. But if you're looking at a, at a smaller child, you want to probably cut it shorter. But the main thing is when you're cutting it, make sure you leave enough to go through the bottle itself. Again, you just uh, you kind of wiggle the bottle a little bit. It'll actually pretty much fall in on its own. You lower it down like that. Screw it down tight, and there you have the ketchup and mustard squirt bottle prank pro model. And here it is, one more time. So anyways, this is the DIY magician getting ready for any of your family gatherings, any barbecues, or even a special day of the month, maybe like April 1st. Who knows? Doesn't matter. You're going to have some fun. Anyways, this is the DIY magician. Until next time. If you enjoyed this video from the DIY Magician, you also might enjoy joining our Facebook group. That's right, the DIY Magician Facebook group. Or you can visit our artist page. That's right, the DIY Magician artist page on Facebook. Or if you want to, please subscribe to YouTube videos and you'll see all the up-to-date videos as they come along. Thank you again for watching the DIY Magician video.